Yeah. Yes. So here that uh, we will uh, study about uh, factorize using two different two squares. So it's coming on your screen. Give me one second. Yeah, your lesson is coming. Oh yes, that's great. So here, beta, enabling editing. Yes, I'm enabling editing. Okay. Yeah. So here, you can see that. Okay. The first one, expand the following to create quad two quadratic identities. Okay. So as I explained that to you, beta. So that means here you are seeing that x plus three x minus 3 okay so just yeah. uh, write down uh, I think that uh, I can choose color from here and also yeah that's right okay so just copy your question Co question mm -hmm. is x plus 3 mm -hmm. and x minus 3 okay so okay what you have to do here you just have to do that uh, x first to first first to second then se okay first to first and first to second firstly i am multiplying that so it will be x x into x and uh, x into minus 3 so minus 3 into x clear yeah now next will be oh, oh wait hold on yeah and then 3 to x and 3 to minus 3 clear yeah. so that means it will be 3 to x it will be plus 3 into x and uh, plus 3 and minus 3 it will be plus minus minus 3 3 is a 9 okay or 3 into yeah, 3 clear yeah I got yeah I got that same. yes so now so in the next one by black in color so you can write that it will be x square minus 3x plus 3x Mm. and minus 9 do you understand it yeah and one more important thing you can see clearly that minus 3x and plus 3x it will cancel or not yeah it will cancel yeah that's why I did yeah and then the remaining thing that you have to write down there that means it will be x square minus 9 it is your answer okay mm. yeah you can also understand in another way. I am going to explain you in another way. Okay. So you Just know the method you, you know the method you did. Is it called FOIL method? Which method? You know the method you just. Is it called FOIL method? Forward. The FOIL. Pardon? Oh, oh, nothing. It's okay. Oh, okay. Miss, actually. You can also understand that just see here okay x plus 3 x minus 3 okay so you just also understand that x is your a it is your just like as a plus b okay mm. and a minus b it is your another method okay so yeah. there is a formula sound okay formula yeah. is that a plus b a minus b that will be equals to a square minus b square okay okay so that means if this type of uh, function will come or this type of uh, product will come so simply yeah. you have to do that i did here a plus b a minus b that means now it will be a square a square that means a is your x so that means x square minus yeah. b square b is your 3 so that will be 3 square understand yeah 
and then it will be and then it will be like uh, x square that means you can write that again x square minus 3 square that will be 9 so now you can see that it is also your answer okay yeah so that means you can understand either in this condition okay in this way yeah. okay or either in this way whatever that you are seeing that i wrote here whatever you are seeing that uh, i wrote here in purple in color and uh, which i am enclosing in box that is your mm -hmm. identity okay yeah yeah that means a plus b a minus b that is your a square minus b square okay okay so that's or, the form yeah it's a formula it's a formula if if any equation that will be in this form okay that is it yeah, if yeah. any equation that will be in the format of a plus b multiplied by a minus b then that you can simplify that by a square minus b square clear okay and then it means that what it means that now you can see that i am going to solve your second one okay i, I am going it. to i am going to solve the second one you can see on your screen so here is 2n plus 1 and 2n minus 1 so here you mm -hmm. can consider that 2n is your a 1 is your b okay so firstly it will be a plus b and it is a minus b okay and you yeah. know that the formula is a square minus mm -hmm. b square clear yeah, yeah. so that that means you have to do what you have to do that a square a is your 2n that means 2n whole square minus mm. 1 whole square okay okay so it will be 2n whole square that means it will be 4n square minus 1 it's, yeah, your, yeah. it's your answer okay yeah yeah do you understand that yeah i got the answer oh my god that's great that's great do you understand clearly yeah yes many times you can go to video and you can see that and then many questions whatever that will be just like as it you can practice that okay okay yes now come to next one here oh yes so here okay they are also saying that just see that when expanded the middle term cancel out okay this okay. one you can see that when expanded middle term will cancel out okay so that means suppose mm. that i am expanding okay i am expanding mm. that give me one second um okay i i, I am tr i am trying to solve the second one okay just see that in expandation okay in expanding mm. form so i'm going to is write it, this uh is it 4n squared minus 2n plus 2n minus 1 wait 4n square minus 2n yeah. plus yeah. 2n minus 1 yeah. oh yes 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 means that means 2n into 2n okay yeah yeah and uh, minus 2n into 1 plus 1 into 2n and minus 1 into 1 clear yeah so now when you will uh, when you will uh, simplify that then 2n into 2n it will be 4n square yeah minus 2n into 1 that will be 2n plus mm. 1 into 2n that will be plus 2n and then mm. 1 ones are 1 minus 1 now clearly you can understand here beta that minus 2n and plus 2n that will be cancelled yeah. that means it is your middle term okay yeah middle term. so that means your remaining will be your answer 4n square minus 1 clear yeah 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 do you understand that yeah great 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 oh my god you can see here you can also see that in your in your here here you can see that it is also written x square minus 3 square it is written by the formula it is written by the formula a square minus b square that means a plus b 
and a minus b okay yeah. you can see that here it is written a plus b and yeah. a minus b okay that's why that directly they are writing a square that is a square that is x square minus b square okay understand yeah yes i understand clearly yeah can i work that one out pardon can i work this one out the x squared minus 3 squared one so i can uh, put in brackets oh yes so no no it is the solution beta is the solution i can give you the another one i can give you the another one wait up i am giving a question okay so suppose that it is your uh, x minus 5 and x plus 5 now you can solve that and tell me your answer very good okay yeah will be x squared minus 25 Uh, x, x, square. x yeah. square minus 25. x square minus 25. Oh, fantastic! Sian, your answer is right. Your answer is perfect. Your answer is perfect. Yes. That's good. That's good. Mm. Now, come to the next one. Oh yes, the same thing. That means, oh, the same thing that they are giving here. What will this expression need to have in order up to apply this case? We must have a subtraction for the difference, and we must have a square numbers. Oh yes, that's great. Now, x square minus four. Okay, x square minus four. so okay okay wait a second now they are solving as usual here your you can see that your power is 2 yeah. or not so yeah. you, how they are solving this one i am explaining shan just see yeah. on your screen beta so x square it is given x square minus 4 okay you can okay. also write this one in quadratic form okay that means it will be x square Minus zero x minus four. Okay? okay. That means that means that I am writing that in the in the general equation of uh, quadratic. Okay? That means a x okay. square plus b x so, plus c. Okay? So, so now why do, you, why do you have to put the zero in? Why can't you yeah, just yeah? Because 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 you can see that there is a no x term. Okay? There is no x term. That's why that I am plugging here zero into x. Okay. Okay. So when it will be in quadratic form. So as I explained that to you, then you have to, then you have to factorize four in such a way so as to get zero. Okay. So four okay. factor four. Factor of four. That means it will be one times four. No, 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 no. It will not be four minus one. It will be three. And four uh, plus one, it will be five. No. Now next will be your two cross two. Oh yeah. yes, two minus two, then you will get zero. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in place of zero, you have to write x square minus in parentheses two minus two. You have to write in place of zero or not? Yes. Yeah. And then x and minus four. Do you understand up to here? Yeah, great. Now, next you have to open your parentheses, so it will be x square minus two mm -hmm. x and plus two x and minus four. Okay. Yeah. Now you have to take common in twos. When you will take common in twos, so it will be x and in parentheses x minus two. Okay. Yeah. And yeah. again. Plus two, you can take common, and x minus two. Okay, so now yeah. you can see that x minus two, x minus two, that will be in one parenthesis, and x plus two, that will be in another parenthesis. Okay, so it yeah. is your answer. 
Do you understand that? Yeah. Do you understand clearly? Yes. Great. So, in the same way, beta, you can see that also they are explaining x square minus 25. So, x square plus 0x minus 25. Next step will be here. You can write mm -hmm. that x square plus yeah. in place of 0, you can write that uh, 5 minus 5, okay? and mm -hmm. x and minus 25 you understand this one yeah, yeah, yeah. and the next step again i am writing here beta it will be okay let me change the color of it so it will be x square open your parenthesis plus 5x minus 5x beta and minus 25 do you understand this one yeah, yeah. and the next one yeah miss whatever whatever uh a step that they didn't write here I am writing that one so here you can see that next step you can take common in twos so here when you take common so X you can take here and then in parenthesis X plus 5 and mm -hmm. then again minus 5 you can take do you remember that I told you a trick that whatever number will be here that you have to take common huh? yeah, 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 yes. yeah. and when you take minus 5 then in parenthesis it will be X plus 5 Oh, now yeah. you can see that you can take x plus 5 as first one and x minus 5 will be the next one. Okay? Yeah. Do you understand clearly, Vita? Yeah. Great. That's fantastic. Now let's see that what is here. Okay. What is this? Consider this square. Okay. Um, where is the square? Oh, okay. How can we find the area of the colored sheep? Okay. Beta, you can see that it is, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm explaining that. It is your B, okay? Yeah. It will also be B or not because it is your square, yeah. okay? Yeah. It will yeah. also be your B or not? Yeah, B will be. Yeah. And here will also be your B. Oh, sorry. Uh, another color I can choose here. It will be B. Yes. Okay. Yeah. They are asking that uh, how can we find the area of the colored shape? Okay. You can see yeah. that the yellow color shape that mm -hmm. is your rectangle. Okay. So you can yeah. clearly understand that uh, your uh, breadth that is your B. But what will be your length? Beta, the total length that is given your A, okay? Okay. And here, white portion that is your B. So, the required one that will be here to here, that will be what? It will be your total minus... Yeah, A to B. Yeah, A minus B, okay? So, if you want to get the area of yellow part, okay? area of yellow okay area of yellow that yeah. means length times breadth because yeah. it is in a form of this uh, rectangle mm -hmm. and then it will be length now length is what beta length is your a minus b and breadth is your b simple okay so now yeah. you have to multiply that a into b B into A or A into B, that means it will be A into B minus B into B. Do you understand? Yeah. Yeah, you can also understand in this way. Suppose that pi red color I can explain you. So here you can see that B to A and then B to B. Simple. Okay. Okay. And then you will get your area that is AB minus mm. B square. That's your answer. Okay. Okay. And then, now, we can come to the red, red one, okay? Okay. So, area of red part, okay? Red uh, rectangle, okay? So, also that you can apply your formula, that is a length times breadth. Okay. So, now, here you can see that your length is your A, okay? 
Okay. Yeah, you can see that the length that is yeah. a, and uh, what will be your breadth? So breadth, you can see that it is your length is your a. So yeah. because that the whole figure, that whole figure that is your square. So it will also be your a, huh? Yeah. yeah. And if the small portion. Ah, uh, give me one second. Hello. 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 Yeah, I'm here. So, beta, it is your A, and the smaller yellow part that. Oh wait, hold on. So it will be it 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 will be you can see that beta it is your yellow mm. breath that is your B. So what will be the breath of red part? It will be your A minus B or not? Yeah. Yeah, as it will be A minus B. So now you can see clearly. So that means the length is your A and breath that will be A minus B. Okay. Yeah. So you can also multiply that. So a into a that will be a into a minus a into b. Okay. So clearly you can see that it will be a square minus a b. Okay. Yeah. Understand that? Yeah. Wait. Yeah. So in this way, yes, I explained this one to you, beta. Total yeah. area minus white area. Uh, oh yes, yeah. So that means also you can also understand in this way. Suppose that total area, total area that means the whole figure that is in the form of a square or not. Yes. Yeah. So total area that means total area you can understand that area of a square. Square. Minus area of white square, okay? Okay. Yeah, so area of big square, so that means side square. It's a side square minus, again, it's other side square, okay? Side one square. So that means side, that means it will be A square. Minus yeah. B square, okay? Understand? Okay. Yeah. Do you understand clearly? Yeah. Also, you can see that your yellow part, okay, your yellow part and red part, if you will add, if you will add, then you can see that you can get their A square minus B square, okay? Because AB and minus AB will be cancelled or not. Yeah, we Understand clearly, beta? Yes. Yeah. Great. Yes. Consider this square. Okay. Uh, we are considering. Okay. How can we find the area of the colored shape? Yes, that's right. That is total area minus area of white portion. Yes, that's right. Total area that is total area that will be your A square minus white white square area that you have to subtract minus b whole square okay so that means a square minus b square that is your colored part area okay okay understand yeah you can also understand over here suppose that in your previous figure that suppose that if you also want to find out the area of colored part so area of colored part will be what Area of yellow part and area of red part or not? Yeah. You can also write here like area, area of colored part, colored part that is equals to yellow plus red or not? Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Wait a second. So yellow area, beta, yellow area that is your 
a b minus b square okay and plus a square minus a b okay so okay. now you can see clearly that when you will add both then you can see that then you can see that a b and a b that we, oh wait a, a b and a b that will be cancel or not yeah because they are positive and negative okay okay so now your answer will be a square minus b square or not beta yeah yeah you can see that this one that you can see that that is also written in your this one yeah a square minus b square okay do you understand clearly yeah great next is consider the square how can we find the area of colored shape oh yes that the same thing that means the total a total area minus area of white okay so total area that is area of wait total area total area minus area of white okay white square okay so total area that is a whole square minus area of white square that is minus b square clear beta so when you will do that it will be a square minus b square okay and that is your answer that's it okay yeah you can also write here colored area give me a second colored area equals to do you understand that yeah okay that's right okay yes oh my god the same thing how they are explaining again and again oh my god yeah you can see that uh yeah so you can also understand in this way means red plus yellow you just have to do that and then you can add this one okay so red means you can also understand in this way so do you understand in previous way what i explained that to you beta yeah you can also understand in this way that means red and yellow so now you can see that red length that is your a or not okay and uh yellow yellow breadth that will be your b or not yeah yeah that will be b okay and now uh yellow yellow length will be the breadth so yellow length that will be your a minus b or not yeah ha huh? yeah it will be so now you can see that a here you can see that the total length of colored part that means it will combinedly this plus this okay so it will be your completely a plus b or not yeah so yeah that means here here this and plus this so it will be a plus b so a plus b now you can see that it is your big rectangle so it's a area that will be length times breadth so you can clearly understand that a plus b into a minus b and then you can simplify that a plus b a minus b that will be a square minus b square understand yeah clearly yeah okay yeah, that's great Oh yes I think the same one let's see that here yeah the same thing that they are explaining here beta whatever that I explained okay that I explained that they are also explaining a minus b and a and b okay so that's why that a minus b that is this one and a and b that will be your ab so that's why that its area will be length times breadth that will be a plus b a minus b okay that is a square minus b square clear Yeah. Oh wow. Here you can see that here are few questions 
you have to factorize just do that quickly so do you think that i have to explain you one no. no yeah okay just try that and tell me your answer one by one Are you trying, beta? Yeah. Yeah, no problem, beta. Just try that. If you feel any problem, then hundred percent I will explain that to you hundred times. Don't worry. <laughs> Do you think that I have to explain, Bitta? No, I'm in the last one. Oh, okay. 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 So these are my answers. The first one, I got... No? Yeah, I'm here, I'm here, Bitta. I'm listening. Yeah, the first one, I got X plus 3 in brackets then x x minus p fantastic okay. wait uh beta you have to solve in this way i am not able to see that in which way that you are solving but just see that firstly copy your question okay x mm -hmm. square minus nine okay now next step will be you have you are seeing that it is just like as a square minus b square okay so yeah. you can write this one like x whole square minus now you have to think about that what number square will be 9 so you can see that it will be 3 mm -hmm. square okay mm -hmm. and then it is now you now you arrange them in the format of a whole square minus b whole square okay and then the third step you have to write that uh, wait we know that we know a square minus b square that is in parenthesis a plus b and a minus b okay yes. and then your last step will be here what I am writing there so that means now you can write x Oh, sorry. Give me a second. Give me a second. Yeah. So, the next will be next will be next step will be x minus 3 sorry, x plus 3 and x minus 3 so when this type of question will come then you have to write these four step okay firstly copy your question arrange them in a square form and then i'll write your formula and then you can arrange them regarding to formula okay yeah. so you are saying right the first answer will be x minus 3 and x plus 3 great yeah. what will be the next one uh, it will be a plus 10 and then a minus 10. Fantastic. Great. Next. It will be 2h plus 6 then 2n minus 2h 
प्लस सिक्स एंड Yeah, that's right. That's right. So means you just have to write firstly copy your question 4h square minus 36. Next duty is yours to convert both the variable and constant in square form, whole square form. Yeah. So you can write that 2h whole square. You can write this one minus it will be 6h whole square. Now these are in the format of a square minus b square. Apply mm -hmm. your formula and then it will be 2h minus Six in one parenthesis and two h plus six in other parenthesis. Okay, it's your answer. Okay, but don't forget to write your formula yeah. there. Okay, yeah, yeah. a square minus b square equals to a plus b and a minus b. Okay, then you will get your perfect answer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Next, tell me your next answer. It is 4b plus 7, and 4b minus 7. Hold on, give me a second. Oh yes, this color is perfect. Yes, what's the next one? 4b oh. plus 7. Give me a second. It's a uh, yeah. 4 V plus seven. Oh, oh yes, fantastic! Your answer is right. Now, tell me the yes. next one. Five, five x plus nine. Yes. And then five x minus nine. Minus nine. Great, great, great! Your answer is perfectly right, beta. But always remember, you have to solve in the same way as in same step as I am explaining, beta. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Next is. Uh, next one is x plus eight, x minus eight. Wow! Very good. Yes, that's right. X square minus eighty four. Ah, x square minus eighty four. I think that eight nine nine is eighty one. Ah, I think that it is not possible to factorize this one in that can because there 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 that means x square minus eighty four. There is a not a number whose square is eighty four. Okay, so there there will be a type of formula. Okay. Wouldn't it be a uh, one? No. Pardon? No. No, no, beta. So I think that we can apply. Uh, there is a quadratic formula, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. There becomes a quadratic formula. You can solve by that way. You know. I am writing the quadratic formula over here. Actually, quadratic formula is that means x equals to minus b plus minus under root b square minus 4ac upon 2a. Okay, so it is your quadratic formula by which you will be able to get your solution of this equation. Otherwise. There is not another number whose square is 84. Okay. Okay. Yeah, that's why I am saying that to you. A little bit in advance that I explain that. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that's right. Oh, so what? Why they are writing this one again? Because oh yes, yes, oh my God! So that means I I wrote your answers, whatever you told me in your previous sheet, but they are asking that you just have to write your answer in this sheet, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. You are right. So now we can move to the next one. What is this? 
Oh, they're just killing the answers. So if you go to the last one. Oh, that. Oh my God. So that means one by one that they are they are writing their answers. Oh, that's great. Oh, you can see that. Yeah. 84 you can also write square root of 84 whole square yeah yeah yes 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 in this way you can also write oh i thought i was thinking a little bit more uh, means uh, uh, in a more deep manner of solving that by with the help of quadratic formula yes what is here let me check Thinking about the difference of two square, can you find the value of the following without using a calculator? 13 square minus 3 square. So simply you have to do that 13 minus 3 and 13 plus 3 and then you can multiply that. 13 minus 3 you will get 10. 13 plus 3 you will get 16. So 16 tens of 160 will be your perfect answer. Okay. Hmm. Next is 26 <laughs> minus 24 whole square. Pardon? Yes. No, so 26 is 26 square minus 24 is square. So you can see that 26 minus 24 in one parenthesis and 26 plus Hello. 24. Hello, Mr. Tepati, how are you? Um, Hello. Hello. Yeah, hi, yes. hello. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Hello, ma'am. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. You? Are you okay? I'm fine, ma'am. Thank you. Yeah, I just want to find out about Cheyenne's progress. It's been like ages now. I haven't spoken to you. Ma'am, ma'am, you can see that. You can see that. Shan's progress, ma'am, you can see that. Shan yeah. will show you a video what uh -huh. class that is running this time ma'am i yeah. have my youtube channel i yes. will upload this class within an hour okay okay uh, okay don't believe on me don't believe yeah. on me just to go to that channel and if you will see that then without my explanation you can see that how shan is doing you can see that i okay uh, miss manually i am telling you Sean just explain me all the answer of these questions, you know? Okay. Yeah, just I will. Cheyenne, Cheyenne is quite happy, so that's why I just wanted to find out from you that if he's been doing well. And do you know what? I know math is fine, absolutely okay. But what about physics and chemistry? How is he doing? Ma'am, in the same way, he is also giving me answers. Ma'am, as usual, you are, uh, you know that this time that it's a starting time. So a little bit that uh, after uh, many uh, months that Shan is uh, starting again. So after then, one uh, after then, I have to a little bit means uh, uh, explain each and everything to him in such an instance that just to retain the knowledge of fundamental. Yeah. and do you know what I'm, I'm just gonna say the same thing the way he's being taught in here is very different so could you please please make sure that he, whatever you know you ask him he just gives either in the written form or you know he just explains everything i know you keep asking him questions. can i show you one thing please yes. just give me a few minutes yeah uh, wait wait uh, i i want to show you one thing ma'am uh, uh, Wait. Okay, no problem, no problem. Because that. Uh, no, this, and this just one week... more thing. Sorry, for, sorry to disturb you. You know, just just one more thing. Yeah. I also want to tell you about you know the definitions, which I feel like you know because uh, he needs to learn it by heart as well. So if you just ask. I I want to show you one thing. I want to show you one thing in which way that I used to explain Shan each and everything. I mean, it's my channel. It's my YouTube channel which you are seeing on your screen my yeah. channel channel name that is skype online tuition ma'am you can come to hear me suppose that you are using ipad or whatever actually uh, 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 sir is also using that one so what your videos ma'am you are seeing here wait yeah. yeah you can see that are you able to see on your screen Yes, yes, I do. Yeah. just Ma'am, you can see that each and miss either I am teaching Sean, 
either any other student each and every time that i would like to record their class so that means after their class they will be able to revise that many times and they can get their efficiency for your example i can uh, oh yes uh, wait a second uh, give me one second i am searching that uh, video which i explained shan to give me one second i think that uh, uh, shan uh, do i explain you speed distance and time uh, no you did but you didn't record it because you already recorded it uh okay so what were that i recorded ma'am to shan yeah you can see that yeah here you can see that quadratic equation that i recorded to recorded shan's class okay so yeah. you, you can see that everything uh, wait it's coming so you can see that i think that uh, his class uh, his class whatever that they are studying in their class each and everything ma'am i am explaining in yeah this. yeah i could see that yeah give me one second i don't know that what is happening give me one second so means uh, i mean to say that everything that i am explaining in deep to him also one more important thing i think ma'am um please give me one second no 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 fine yeah i am th i am thinking that there is a little bit uh, yeah, I yeah. think there's a speed problem, isn't it? No, no, ma'am. I am using a high speed internet, but I don't know that what is happening there at this time, no, ma'am. All these, yes. all these, ma'am, videos. Yeah, you can see that. You can see that, ma'am. Actually, this yes. these topics are in so Shan's course also. Your... Okay, I generally yes. use to explain yes. each and everything in written form. Okay. Yeah, Wait. I could see uh, that now. I am I am showing I am showing you. Yeah, I just see that. Ma'am, you can see that I switch off here uh wait 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 wait. I am increasing volume. Just give me one second. You can see that this speed equals to ratio of distance move upon time taken or simply you can write that speed equals to Yeah, you wait, are seeing that I am writing here. Be much convenient Honestly, for you to understand. Give me yeah. a second. Ma'am, I generally used to fill all the page of explaining everything in a very, here. very convenient way. So the reason uh, yeah, is that see the velocity and you know, the speed. You know that's fine. I'm not doubting. You know, you're not getting me. I'm not doubting what you're teaching. It's just in terms of whatever Shayan is getting. I'm just talking about that. If you just keep taking tests, you see, just take his test so that to see how much he has learned. That's yeah, ma'am, ma'am, you can see that. Shan will show this video of today's class just within half an hour or one hour after, ma'am. Okay. Shan gave me answer of all these question, ma'am. When you will see that, Shan, just show this recording to your mom, okay? Yeah. yeah. And ma'am, you will see that what your answer you are seeing here, Shan yeah. would like to tell me all the answers over here, ma'am. here and shan was telling one by one and i was writing that answer here ma'am wow that's good yes ma'am uh, when you will see that then you will believe when you will yes. see that then you will believe and then at the and at the last question then i also explain him that there is also a advanced formula by which you will be able to get your answer of this one also there is another way to get that answer so ma'am when you see this video then 100% you will be able to understand also ma'am i want to tell you one thing if shan is uh, if shan have free time so whatever channel that is mine you have to go to or you just have to say that shan just to go to channel and just see that whatever that is convenient for you or whatever topics that are in your course ma'am 100% that he will get perfect result in his examination ma'am i know yeah he will you know one thing is very right shayan you need to go over not only your lessons but you could see the other lessons as well yes so yes yes you can see that many lessons are there ma'am many lessons yes. whatever that will be yeah you can see that uh, a little bit i can explain that solid liquid gases and its characteristic no doubt that when i will explain to him 
also i will explain that but before that if he would like to see that one yeah, or two times have a little then go yeah i know i will explain it to him that you could have a little go before you know even sir explains you the next time when you have your turn so yes ma'am and that's that's right thing ma'am when he will understand that before my explanation then 100% that when i will explain to him and also i will upload his class also there yes yeah it, that's fine yeah so in that condition atom elements and compound all this fundamental in mass scf speed distance and time second means there are approximately 100 of videos ma'am preparation yeah. of acid alkalis physical quantities ma'am these are of little bit hard right? yeah yeah Understand. definitely i will yeah. i will ask fayan as well you know before if you just give him the topic beforehand so he could just have a look at any of the video and then could start yes yes ma'am ma'am actually yeah. that is in my habit few days before 15 or 20 days before i started this channel few of my students they suggested me that sir why you are not recording this class because that uh, then we can do a lot of practice and we can get efficiency from there so, uh, so that's Yeah. Sorry, sir. I've been called. So I will see you again. Sorry. Okay, you just continue. I just wanted to get a quick, quick feedback. Sorry, it's just my. No, no, ma'am. Please, 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 ma'am. Okay. No, uh, not uh, no mind of that one. Because it's. Thank you very much. Bye. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for your time, ma'am. Have a great time. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Hello, Shan. Yes. Okay, I would like to add it a little bit. <laughs> This video, and then I would like to, <laughs> then I would like to uh, upload that. Okay, beta. So I think that uh, you, I hope you understand all that which I explained over there, yeah. here. Yeah. yeah. All that slides that I explained that to you, beta. At the last that we were doing here. That yes, 13 square minus 3 square. They are also explaining in the same way that as I explained that to you. That 13, yeah, I'm, I'm means I am not going to add it to your video. Okay, as it is that I will upload that one. Okay, so that if other student and their parents would like to see that, then also they would like to get motivation from there. Okay, yeah. so here, beta, as I was explaining that 13 square minus 3 square, it is just like as in the format of a square minus b square. So fundamentally, you know that the formula is a square minus b square. That is in one parenthesis there will be a plus b and a minus b. So that means it will be in one parenthesis 13 minus 3. In other parenthesis that will be 13 plus 3. 13 minus 3 that will be 10. 13 plus 3 that will be 16. So you will get that 16 times 10 that will be 160. Okay, so in the same way, in the same way, whatever questions that uh, your teacher would like to put, okay, in class, you will also be able to solve all of that. Okay. Okay. So thanks for today, Bita. Have a great time, and within one hour, okay, you will see that your video will be uploaded on your on my channel. Yeah. Okay, yes, and uh, its uh, name will be uh, okay. So I will yeah, give. Like yeah, pardon. Yeah. Yes, as you can see that latest video when you will uh, see that. So the latest video that you will see there. Okay, otherwise quadratic. quadratic solution okay i will give the name of this one okay i think that uh, yes quadratic yeah quadratic equation solution okay or uh, okay okay i will write the topic that quadratic identities okay i will write the topic of your today's class that is quadratic identities clear okay okay so thanks for today beta have a great time and greetings to your parents thank you bye bye, bye, -bye.